Hi, my name is Carly Auer and I'm a classical homeopath at Our Family Homeopathy in Mesa, Arizona. I have two children who have been raised on homeopathic medicine. Homeopathy has been such a gift in our lives and I'm so happy today to be here to share it with you. I'm a graduate of the American Medical College of Homeopathy in Phoenix, Arizona and on behalf of AMCH we would like to welcome you to our new self-help homeopathy program. I invite you to visit us at selfhelphomeopathy.com. We have 30 different programs in a variety of topics, from acute back pain to cold and flu to autism spectrum disorders. The great thing about these programs is that in addition to focusing on a specific ailment, they also offer an introduction to general homeopathic and holistic medicine. So if you've ever wanted to learn about homeopathy and how it can help you, this is a great place to start. Visit us at selfhelphomeopathy.com. Here is a brief clip from this program suggesting homeopathic remedies that are useful in treating this condition. What are some of the remedies that can be used to assist in acute gastroenteritis? Perhaps the most well-known is arsenicum album, or white arsenic. It's our number one homeopathic remedy for Teresta, which is um, acute gastroenteritis that people often experience when they're traveling, associated with a great deal of diarrhea. With arsenicum album, there can be simultaneous nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And typically, there is a great amount of prostration and weakness. Despite this, they feel anxious and restless. Symptoms are worse between 12 to 3 AM, and worse from cold drinks and cold foods, and better from hot drinks and hot foods. The pains are usually described as burning and localized in the epigastrium and are oftentimes associated with chills. Another remedy that's very useful for acute gastroenteritis is belladonna or nightshade. Typically the onset with belladonna is very sudden and very violent, explosive diarrhea, and explosive paroxysms of pain extending often into the right scapula. There's a lot of heat that is generated with belladonna and flushing of the face as well as heat of the body and oftentimes a red color or complexion. Not so much nausea and vomiting with um, belladonna but more cramping pains. They are worse from jar which is um, a bump, going over a bump in a car, walking, coughing, breathing, and with tight clothes. They're better bending backwards and lying on the abdomen or putting pressure on the abdomen.